Corina. Hello, Corina. Jose. Hi, Corina. Can you hear me? Hello. How are I, you? I'm ready. Good. Good. So, how was your day? Well, so 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 busy. Okay. I I have all my my um I don't know how to say nietos. Nietos. Yes. Oh, grandchildren. Grandchildren. Oh, how many grandchildren do you have? <laughs> Six. Six grandchildren. <laughs> yes. Okay. Six. And and I I I this day I have three of them. Oh my goodness. So you were busy. <laughs> so busy. <laughs> okay. I only have one grandchild. Oh yes? Yeah, only one. I I have um five boys uh -huh. and one girl. One girl. Okay. Good. All right, everybody, welcome back. Jose, Corina, Nelly, Annie, and Raul. Did Hello. you have a good day? Yes. Uh, pretty good. Good, good. good. Fine. Okay. Um, thank you for being punctual. Um, do you remember what we discussed yesterday? Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. What is a phrasal verb? A combination of two words. Good. Very good. And do you know the names of those two words? And a, a preposition, verb and a, preposition. And a verb and a preposition, right? Um, does the preposition change the meaning of the verb? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. How do you say lucirse in English? It was in yesterday's um, lesson. So, oh. Exactly. You say, you see the chat? Yes. Show, Show off. off. Show off. off. Right. Show off is when you need attention and you start doing things, uh, certain things on purpose so people pay attention to you. So that is show off. What if I say show up? What's the meaning of show up? Anybody? What if, what if I say Daniel just showed up? What's the meaning of that sentence? To appear. Exactly. It means to appear. Or we can say the same about Shanita. Shanita just showed up. That means she recently appeared. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hi. Were you with my uncle? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, we were discussing uh, phrasal verbs, and we were saying that a phrasal verb, it's a verb with a preposition. The preposition that you use will change the meaning of what you're saying. One example is the one that we have in the chat. Show off and show up are completely different. Show off means to do something on purpose so people start paying attention to you. And show up means to appear in a place. Got it? Got it. Yes. All right, good. So um, in the platform, um, there is a video where the lady explains pronunciation. 
uh, have you had the chance to watch that part? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what did she say about pronunciation in phrasal verbs? Who can remind me? Anybody? Um. Mm -hmm. The ones that said yes, that you have watched the video. <laughs> Okay, uh, when, you, when you're when you talking about phrasal verbs, the lady mentioned something very important. When you're in the process of learning a language, pronunciation is so important, so, so important that sometimes the pronunciation that you use can send the wrong message. So you have yes. to be very careful with pronunciation. So I want to show you a document that I have here. See this here, uh, right here. Okay, you see the document? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, what's the name of the document? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay. Nouns versus, versus, verbs. versus verbs. Okay, listen to this. You say pronunciation, not pronunciation. 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 Okay. Say it again, say it again. Pronunciation. Very good. Pronunciation. How many syllables do you hear in the word pronunciation? Five. 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 Five is correct. Yes. You say pronunciation. 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 Right. Pronunciation. Now, when you produce sounds, you make a combination of what we have here. Uh, you use your teeth. How do you yes. say lengua in English? Tongue. You use your tongue. How do you say labios in English? Lips. 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 So you use your teeth, your tongue, lips. your lips. You use your facial muscles. And you also Pronunci use your jaw. So you say pronunciation. So look here. Pronunciation. Um, pronunciation. Pronunciation. So we have nouns and we have verbs. The first one here is a noun. How do you pronounce it? Present. 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 How do you say present in Spanish? Presente. Regalo. Presente. Or regalo, right. Look at the second one. You say present. 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 How do you say present in Spanish? Present. Present. Um, now remember. Para enviar. Now listen, para algo? Listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Um, the first word that you have on your left, the ones that I'm pointing right now, mm -hmm. those are nouns. The oh. words that I'm pointing right now, mm -hmm. they are verbs. Verb. 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 Yes. Verb. yes. If you analyze whether it's a noun or a verb, the spelling is exactly the same, mm -hmm. but pronunciation is different. So mm -hmm. for Christmas, you receive present. 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 Uh -huh. Tomorrow, I have to present a project. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. present a project. Present. Uh -huh. Presentar. Presentar, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, once again, if it's a noun, the stress goes in the first part. If it's a verb, the stress goes in the second part. Are we clear mm -hmm. on that? Yes. Yes. And that okay. is for the old words. Excuse me? That rule is for all words. Uh uh, not always. In some cases, and that's a very good question. What I'm explaining to you right now here is not standard, it's not universal. But many verbs and nouns, they are pronounced the way that I'm showing it to you right now. But in some occasions, the verb and the noun will be pronounced exactly the same way. So that's mm -hmm. why you need to be using the language as much as possible. Not, or the context. Exactly. So you're supposed to be using the language not only from 9 to 10 p.m., but every time you get the chance. Now, 
How do you say grabar in English? Record. 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 Grabar. Not grabar. Record. 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 Right. Okay. So if you want to say grabar, you will say record. record. You will say record. I forgot to do this here. You will say record. What if I want to say grabación? Record. Or disco? Record. 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 They say that politicians in El Salvador, they sound like records. Again and again and again, and they never do things. So you sound like a record. So you say record. How do you say grabar in English? Record. 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 If you analyze the noun and the verb, the spelling is exactly the same. However, pronunciation is different. So it depends if you're using it as a noun or if you're using it as a verb. Yeah. How do you say proyecto? Project. 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 How do you say proyectar? Project. 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 Very good. Now, how do you say incremento? Increase. 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 There increase. will be an uh, increase. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So there will be an increase in the price of gasoline. There will be an increase in the price of gasoline. How do you say incrementar? Increase. 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 Okay. How do you say insulto? Insult. Insult. How do you say insultar? Insult. 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 Objeto? Object. 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 And, and, and what would be the verb for object for object in Spanish? Objetar. Objetar. And what is objetar? What's the meaning? Mm. It's not be agreed. Rechazar. Exactly. Like reject. Mm -hmm. Not accepted. Not accepted. When you go to a court and the lawyer wants to present evidence, the other part will say, we object that evidence because of whatever reason. Now, how do you say permiso? Permit. 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 How do you say permitir? Permit. 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 So, if you want to sound natural, if you want to sound very nice when you're using the language, this is one of the things you guys need to remember. Um, you may have the same verb, but pronunciation is going to be different according to the scenario of how you're using it. Got it? Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. okay. How do you say quebrar in English? Break. 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 How do you say desayuno? Breakfast. 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 Do, do you say breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. So breakfast. you say okay. So you say break. Mm -hmm. Break. But when you want to say desayuno, you don't say breakfast. You say breakfast. 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 Right. Breakfast. How do you say cara in English? Face. Face. Okay, you say face. How do you say superficie? Surface. Face. Okay, so if you want to say rostro or cara, you say face, right? Yes. Yeah, but if I want to say superficie, I will say surface. 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 I'm not going to say surface. You will say surface. Surface. So what I'm saying is this, Surface. just because you know the pronunciation of one word does not mean that you will pronounce exactly the same way in other scenarios. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Um, another question. How do you identify the number of syllables in a word?
Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Everybody was like, my goodness. Cree -cree. Right. I, I hear the crickets. Okay. So once again, how do you identify the number of syllables in a word? If you are able to identify the number of syllables in a word, your pronunciation is going to be much better. So give it a try. How do you identify the number of syllables in a word? It's a question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> give it a try. Wow. Give it a try. So let me give you the, the, the first one. Pronunciation. How many syllables are there? Pronunciation. Five. Five. Five is correct. How do you know? Church, for, the for, for the pause. What it, pause? It, it, during I is it, speaking or reading, I I I made a little different okay. pause or okay. Somebody uh, help Chanina. I don't know. She, she's getting there. Can someone help her? It's the Please? same like in Spanish. Uh huh. Yes, Mary. It is. It's like I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's the same rules in Spanish. The the. Okay. The so what's the rule in Spanish? What's the rule in Spanish? In español, que de acuerdo a las sílabas, cómo se van componiendo. Eh, digamos, la primera sería pro, nun y el diptongo que se. Okay, but okay, okay, but when I said what is the rule in Spanish, like, okay, give us the, the concept, but in but in English. Uh -huh. <laughs> let, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay. We have syllable. How many syllables in that word? Three. Three. How do you know? Three is correct, but how do you know? Remember the rules in Spanish. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we are know. reading. I don't know. We know. I don't know how, but we know. Right. <laughs> and, and, and the mystery of the live. I said, look, I'm not a teacher, so don't be asking me those questions. But uh, <laughs> if if you're able to identify how many syllables the word has, your pronunciation is going to be, be much better. So let me explain. <clears throat> When you pronounce a word, if you hear one vowel, that indicates that the word has one syllable. If you hear two vowels, what's the meaning of vowel? Vocal. Vocal. How many vowels do we have? Two. two. Mm -hmm. Four. Uh, five. 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 Uh -huh. How many vowels? <laughs> Nine. We have five vowels, right? Yes. How do you pronounce that one? Tone. How do you pronounce that one? Day. 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 And this one? Uh -huh. Okay, so we have exactly the same letter, letter. with three Bowen. different sounds. Mm -hmm. With three different sounds. So we have tall, day, in car oh. so don't pay attention to that because that's that's not related with the question that i'm making okay anyways my bad <laughs> oh okay so once again when you say hospital hospital how many how many syllables do you hear three. 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 three okay how do you know three is correct how do you know because we hear three vowels. Oh. exactly mm -hmm. because you hear this you hear this and you hear this one here so mm -hmm. the number the number of vowels that you hear remember we're classifying sounds not letters we classify sounds yeah. not letters mm -hmm. so when you say hospital you hear three vowels right right so hospital right. hospital three syllables hospital. where is washington where is Washington? Which country? United States. Uh, United States. Okay. 
How do you pronounce this uh, country? The United States. Okay. So, how many syllables do you hear in all the name? Six. Three. Five. 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 Uh -huh. five. Four, five, six. <laughs> five. 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 United five. States. The United States. Four. United, United States. <laughs> Uh -huh. How many syllables? Five. Five. Five, Five is... Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, go to the chat and write the number of syllables that you hear in the United States. Go to the chat and just put your number there. Oh my God. <laughs> go ahead. Five. That United, United uh, I'm coming. Seven. In a second. Yeah. Seven. Six, four, seven, five. Then <laughs> So, anybody else? Okay, you, you, you see Daniel? Do you see Daniel's answer? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Daniel's answer is, is good. And some of you guys said a five too, but this is a, a, a very clear explanation. So you have the United, Somebody's on the street right now. Okay. No, it's in my house. Oh, your house. Oh, my God. Do you live near the freeway or something? Very near. <laughs> right. I felt, like, I felt like I was inside the car. I was going to say, come on, don't go too fast. Okay, so look, the United States. This is the correct answer. The has one syllable. United has three. And states has only one. Mm -hmm. Do you say states or do you say states? Mm -mm. States. 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 And, um, and, and here's the thing. If I said, hey, what happened to your brother? You said, estén los unais. You say, unais. <laughs> but unais, that's in El Salvador. You know? Uh, you say, he's in the United States. United States. States. Now, when you say states, this letter here is quiet. And, and that's why I'm telling you again. When you want to identify the number of syllables in a word, you have to classify sounds, not mm -hmm. letters. Are we okay there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it? Got yes. it. Okay. All right. Okay, before we change activity, uh, do you have any questions about pronunciation here between nouns and verbs? No. no. Is everything clear? Yes. yes, but I don't know if exists some rules, general rules for identify how to pronounce some words or okay. maybe combination. Okay, if if you're talking about rules and you're comparing verbs with nouns, just keep this in mind. If it's a noun, the stress, what is the stress? How do you say stress in Spanish? La fuerza de voz, very good. If mm -hmm. you're talking about nouns, the stress is in the first syllable. If you're using the same verb, uh, if you're using the same word as a verb, then the stress is in the second syllable. <laughs> I don't know if that helps. Yeah. yeah. So, Can you repeat, please? Sure, sure. If it's a noun, the stress is in the first part. The first. It's okay. in the first syllable. Mm -hmm. If you're using the same verb, the same word as a verb, then the stress goes in the second syllable. Okay. 
Or the last, the, the last part. Uh, if, if you're using a two-syllable verb, if you're using a two-syllable verb. Okay. Verb. okay. Yep. All right. Anything else? No? That's a good tip. Okay, good. Okay. So, yes. so like I said, your, your priority is communication, but not just any communication. You want to sound as good as possible, right? Right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now, have you watched the um, have you watched the platform? Yes. yes. Okay, you see the document? Yes. 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 Okay. That is one of the topics you guys will see in the platform. Let me ask you before we start. What is a model? Can someone answer? and refresh my memory and tell me what a model is. It's like a um, detail you can ask. Okay, can, could, and would are the examples they mention in the platform, but we have more. Now, what is the function of a model? Like auxiliar. A diplomatic. Good. Uh, you want to sound diplomatic. You want to sound very polite. 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 Right? So, mm -hmm. um, how do you say, "Stay Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Please. Aha. Uh -huh. But it's very. But it, uh -huh. But the message is going to be very different if I said, "Can you please? Could you please?" Would you please be quiet? So it's not what we say, but how we say it. Right? Yes. Now, if you're talking to your brother or your sister, you never say please. You never say thank you. But do it. You said just do it. You say, shut up, be quiet, go outside, and all that. But if 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 you're talking with someone in your office, you don't tell people what to do. You want to sound nice and neat. So, if you want to ask for something or if you want to make a request, um, people recommend that you use can, could, or would. What is the first example? Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder? What about the second one? Could we? Could we? Yes. Could you um, rehearse? Rehearse. What is the rehearse. meaning of rehearse? rehearse. Okay. What's Ensayar? the meaning of rehearse? Like a practice. Yes. Rehearse is a synonym of practice. Mm. Now, practice is practicar. Rehearse is. Ensayar. Ensayar. They are synonyms, but you have to be a little bit careful in which circumstance you use uh, rehearse and what circumstances you use uh, practice. Okay. What okay. about the other one? Would you please, please stop, stop snoring? snoring? Would you please stop snoring? What's the What's meaning mean? of snoring? Snoring. 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 <laughs> with your nose. Uh, Good. Yes. It's the sound that you make when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Do you snore? Be honest. No. no. I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. So let's say uh, you have someone next to you. You're trying to go to sleep, but this person is Sounds like an orchestra. <laughs> no, my husband knows. Okay, not your husband. Okay. <laughs> so you grab the pillow and you hit the person and you tell them, will you please stop snoring? Will you please stop snoring? Right? So first you hit the person and then you want to use nice words. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a chompy Remember the chompy Yeah. Yes. 
you know, uh, no, 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 el, el, el botija. First he brushes the hair and then he... <laughs> ah, okay. All right, what about the last one? Put your mind lowering the volume. Volume. Okay, so as you can see, if I'm talking with my brother, I will simply say, look, speak louder, right? But if you're in a meeting, you will tell the person, can you please speak louder? Could we rehearse on Saturday? Would you please stop snoring? Would you mind lowering the volume? Now, what do we say here? The last part? Always, Always use magic, magic words. Words. Okay. magic words. Now, what are the magic words? Please. Please. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> so when you ask, when you ask the person uh, about what you need, you're supposed to say, please. Please. What are you supposed to say when the person does what you're asking? Thank you. Thanks. You're supposed to say thanks. thanks. Now, what is the magic word that you use when you're walking between two people? Excuse, Excuse me. Excuse me? What is the word you use when you push someone by accident? Sorry. Sorry. Right. Okay. So I'm going to make groups right now. I want you to work together and make sentences or questions um, to ask for something. Are we okay? Okay. Yes. Make sure that everybody in the group uh, says something. Don't let anybody to be quiet. Everybody has to talk. Okay. So I have 15 people. I'm going to make five groups of three. Okay. Here we go. Christina, Mary, and Annie. Hello. All right, so what do we have? Where? <laughs> we need to make a question. Right, M make questions, uh, pretend that you're asking something to somebody. Okay, uh, okay. you please uh, tell me the meaning of lowering. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, lowering. Uh -huh. Can you drive slowly? Uh huh. Can you drive slowly? <laughs> now, Could you repeat, please? Uh huh. Could you repeat, please? Good. Very good. What else? Can I go early today? Uh huh. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, you I try. can try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, when do we use would you mind? Would you mind? When you make a, like a suggestion, like, um, suggestion to do something. Sure, or when you need something and you need permission. Uh, okay. Okay. And, and just make sure that when you are using would you mind, the form of the verb always has to be ing. Okay. Yep. The next words of mine. Uh, the, the main verb has to be uh, in ing. Okay. The main verb. Okay. So you say, would you mind explaining again? Would you mind repeating okay. the answer? Would you mind giving me a ride? And things like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, I'll come back to you guys. I gotta go check with your friends. Okay. okay. All right, I'll be back. Bye. Bye. See ya. Okay. See ya. Creo que sí. Huh? Talking Spanish? No, I'm <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> you know that the alarm activated and they said, look, there is a group talking Spanish. A little bit. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little scary. Yes, yeah, only a word. <laughs> okay, only a word. I know. It, it was someone else talking Spanish outside, not you guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so, 
how can we use this? Nelly, Carlos, and Jose? Yes. How can you use it? Um, Give me examples. Um, can you turn off the TV, please? Uh huh. What else? People? Carlos? Uh, Anything. Um, when you arrive to your house, what are the most common um, suggestions that you make? Imagine that you are hungry. What do you tell your wife? <laughs> or, or like, could you please prepare dinner for me? No. Can you give me a full plate with food? Now, do you guys remember how to use would you mind? Yes. When you use would you mind, the form of the verb has to be ing. Ing. Mm -hmm. It's like, would you mind stopping using, use your cell phone in class? Good, very good. Another one? Jose, Carlos, would you mind helping me with the homework? Would you mind explaining me, explaining again? Exactly. Would you mind explaining again? Very good. What else? Mm. Would you mind talking loud? Okay, would you mind talking louder? Louder. Okay. Would you mind lowering the volume? Would you mind lowering the volume? The volume. Volume. Uh -huh. Volume. Yes. Volume. I'm going to go visit your other friends. I'll be back. Don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Don't make me use my belt. <laughs> Full name. Full name, sorry. <laughs> full name. Can you tell me full name? Good. Another example. Would you like would you like to to go out with me? Uh huh. <laughs> it's example. It's example. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, only, only for practice. Oh, man, I said Daniel is taking it very personal. <laughs> okay. It's the first word. I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember something. When you use would you mind, the form of the verb is always going to be ing. So you say, would you mind explaining again? Would you mind giving me some water? Would you mind giving me permission to leave early? So whenever you use would you mind, the form of the verb is always ing. Why? Why, why use ing? Um, that, is the, uh, that is the form of how this expression was established. So, would you mind helping me with the homework? Would you uh, mind okay. giving me a ride? Uh huh. I I I I say, would you mind pick up my husband in the airport? Would you and, mind and then picking up? Picking up. Okay. Yes. Would you mind picking up my husband at the airport? Okay. Would you mind giving me the answer for the exam? Mm -hmm. There are uh, there are another example um, uh, and uh, different word with uh, than mine. Mine. 
main well uh, if you want to sound very polite like good manners and everything this is very good for you to say would you mind would you mind uh turning down the music would you mind giving me a ride after work now you can say can you please lower the volume could you please stop snoring so there are different forms of how you can sound very polite with good manners um, by using this vocabulary okay right right okay so i'm gonna visit your friends and i'll be back with you guys okay okay keep practicing okay let's practice Okay, and uh, uh, yes. yes, a construction. Mm -hmm. yes. it's a, it's a Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> what are you talking about? We are talking about places we like to know to travel, to visit. Oh, okay. Good. And what places did you mention? Um, for example, Swiss. Uh, um, I don't know how you say Swiss in English. Sweden. France, Sweden, France, and Sweden. Mexico. Okay, yes. good. And, and Dubai, you? remember? No, oh. oh, Dubai also. How do you say Medio Oriente? Middle East. Housing. Middle East. Middle yeah, East. Middle East. That's a very okay. interesting culture. Uh, all the yeah. countries in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they are very. Uh, <coughs> serious about their yeah. beliefs especially religious uh, traditions they are very they take it very serious yes yeah. okay so um, these are the options that we have when you want to make a request or when you need something uh, something that you need to remember when you use would you mind the form of the verb has to be with ing form. Mm -hmm. So you said, would you mind explaining again? Would you mind helping me with the homework? Would you mind sending- Giving me another no. idea. Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. Would you mind giving me another idea? Would you mind sending the report in five minutes? So whenever you use, would you mind? the form of the verb has to be with ing form. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any questions there? No. No? It's okay. Okay. And what are the magic words that we said that we should use? Please, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. So you say, please, thank you, sorry, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. And so on. All right. Okay, okay. So I'll be seeing you guys in a few seconds. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Continue. Continue. <laughs> yes. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. Okay. Would you be stronger to another person and be a little bit soft to say, please do that? Okay, there is a imagine here. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, that's it. Models to ask, request politely image. Image. Um, image. image. Oh, yes, sorry. image. 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 Hmm. Can you speak louder? We... Uh, uh, yes, yes, Mary. It's correct. Would you mind sending the picture or can I say, would you mind send me a picture? Uh -uh. Um, the first one is correct. Would you okay. mind sending me a picture? Okay, always since mm. we're ING. Yes, now remember something. Um, in a real conversation, you can say, would you mind send me the picture right now and okay people, people will understand what you're saying but grammatically speaking you're supposed to use the ing form 
Ah, okay. okay. Yep. Now we're so, gonna say that we are confusing with that because it sounds weird. Right, right. And, and that's a very good observation because sometimes when you say it, you say, hmm, it sounds a little bit strange. Exactly. And, and, and if the alarm activates and it tells you, look, you sound strange, it's very possible that you're not saying it the right form. Okay. Yeah. So when you say, okay, would you mind send? Would you mind sending? No, the second one sounds better. And, and that's when you get the answer. It's for the sound. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and it sounds more, more natural. It sounds more normal. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So but, would you, uh-huh, talk to me. But when you, when you say, for example, would you mind step back? Is a step back or a stepping back? Stepping back. Stepping back. That's yes. grammatical, in a grammatical way, but it sounds weird when I speak with that because it's I, not I, normal to, in a correct form or informal way to say something. Right. Now, remember what I told you guys yesterday, your priority has to be communication. Now, um, you say, look, would you mind stepping back? Stepping Let's back. say uh, you don't know the right form. You say, would you mind step back? People would understand. But once again, like Christina says, grammatically speaking, you should say, would you mind stepping back? Okay. Have another question. Yes, Christina. Um, and when we, the, the, the three options, same, the, the, the meaning is the same, but but uh, are they are in a different uh, period of time. Like can is in the present, cool is in a past, but um, like I suppose that you can do it. Like you get the, I, I don't know how can I explain, but. No, I know exactly what you're saying. And that's a very good observation. Okay. She says, can is for present, could is for past, and would is hypothetical. Okay. So, so in this case, what we're doing is we're using the three options only to ask or make requests, and we want to sound uh, polite politely in manners. Okay. But yes, you're right. You're completely right. Uh, these models, they have additional functions. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's return to the main session. Okay. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, good. So how was your conversation with your friends? Good. 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 Was good. Hi. It's good I practice. I not sentences. <laughs> okay, good, very good, yes. very good. Mm -hmm. So let's see something here. The rest of the group are, ah, uh, okay. Right there. All right, so welcome back. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Let's see, ha, ha, ha. Daniel. You are passing list. <laughs> I'm taking attendance, yes. So I'm disappearing. I'm taking attendance, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nelly's not there. I'm here, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> okay. You willing me? It's checking. No, I I thought that you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it happens it's one time. Uh, uh, yeah, and that's the reason when you're in the conference, you're supposed to be in a position 
not comfortable. You know, there was a time, don't tell anybody. Uh, <laughs> we were in a conference, but I was, I was one, of the, one of the group. The host was another person. So I went to bed with my headsets and I was paying attention, right? And I, and I fell asleep. <laughs> so the, the last we thing I remember, they were saying, Francisco, are you there? Francisco, are you there? And I said, yes, I'm here. I'm having problems with the audio. You know? <laughs> so it, 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 it's not a good recommendation to get comfortable while in the conference, you know? Because they were saying, like, uh, for a while. They were saying, uh, uh, Mary, say something. Prove that you're here. Hello. I'm say here. something. <laughs> All right, good. Um, so, anyway. Yeah, everything is recorded. Um, like I said before, when we have group activities, I expect everybody, without any exception, to participate and talk. Remember, you will improve your pronunciation, grammar, fluency, and everything by making mistakes. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. I mean mistakes are necessary. So if you don't make mistakes, it's because you're not saying anything. <laughs> but we need you yeah. to make mistakes because that's part of the process, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. Now, okay. when you are talking, what is your what is your goal? Is it fluency or is it accuracy? Sorry, what? What means accuracy? Okay, you got fluency and accuracy. What is accuracy? Okay, can somebody explain the word accuracy? Oh. Oh. Accuracy. Okay, what is fluency? Let's start with the easy one. What's fluency? It's talking speak without, uh, without passing. Uh, without pauses. Mm -hmm, without pauses. Or speak without problems. Natural. Natural. A good pace. Uh -huh. A good pace is very important. Now, listen to this. When we talk about fluency, we are not necessarily saying that the person speaks fast because some people they speak fast but it's hard to understand what they're saying so fluency is not talking fast fluency is talking at a normal nice pace and everybody can understand what you're saying that's fluency now what is accuracy precision uh-huh. So let me give you an example. Um, my sister don't have any money. My sister don't have any money. Do you understand the message of the sentence? Yes. 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 Yeah. But grammatically speaking, it's not good. Yes. Why not? It's like uh, when you use a correct you have, grammar, you um, have to use to has. Write something. Okay, now. Okay, exactly. Okay, so check the chat. It says, my sister don't have the money. Have. Uh, have is run. Don't use have, that's not have. I think it's no, it was just, it's done. It's the having of money. Uh -huh. Aha. I, I, I hear I like five money. different answers now. <laughs> my sister don't have the money. It would be my sister having money. Hasn't no, money. No, no, it's doesn't. Why have it? Hasn't money. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> We are talking about the third person. Aha, uh -huh. you're talking about the third person. Which tense is this sentence? Which tense? Simple person. Simple present. Simple present. What's the auxiliary we use for the third person singular? Yes. 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 So, 
So do you say yeah, my sister yeah. don't have money or my sister doesn't yeah. have money? Yeah. Doesn't. 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 doesn't have any money. Doesn't have money. So listen to this. My example here, my sister don't have money, don't have the money. That's not accuracy. That's not accuracy. So when we talk about accuracy, uh, we are referring to using grammar properly. So let uh, me ask you again, what is more mm -hmm. important to you? Is it fluency or accuracy? Both. Accuracy. Both. 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 No, I think Both. we can ha we have fluency when we uh, have a topic or a attempt to, to talk the knowledge. Okay. But uh, accuracy? Accuracy? Accuracy. Uh, accuracy. Accuracy. Thank you. Accuracy uh, is the part of que nos traba. I mean, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Now, okay. Someone else wants to give your opinion, fluency or accuracy. What do you want? Because when you use a correct grammar, I know it's correct when you read something or when you make a document, an important document, but when you need to transmit your opinions or you make a different uh, uh, conversations, you need to use the correct fluency because it's uh, uh, difficult when you translate that information for another person, but you need to know both, but for me it is more important or it's a pure priority. Priority. Priority influence because when you have that uh, confidence, I don't know how, how can I explain that? Yeah, but confidence. Yeah, you can do the rest of the grammar because you, you know the correct form to translate your ideas and after that you organize that. Good, very good. Okay, go to the chat and just put one word. If you have to decide if you have to choose between mm. fluency and accuracy, which one would you choose? Go to the chat and put your answer. Okay, now the two options are good, but let me explain. If you go to New York, Chicago, San Francisco, whatever, you will hear native speakers, they sound natural and everything, not being accurate. Remember that in the United States, not everybody goes to school. Not everybody yes. knows grammar. So, um, People talk, they are fluent, but maybe not accurate. And nobody tells you anything. So once again, you go to Miami and you tell, look, my sister don't have a car. Nobody's going to tell you, no, it's not Don Francisco, it's doesn't. People prefer fluency over accuracy. Now, in El Salvador, the situation is a little bit different because people check your grammar. So mm -hmm. it depends where you are. If you go to the United States, they will ask you to speak the language. They're not going to give you a grammar test. They will talk to you. They will talk to you. So, so communication. Exactly. Communication. communication is priority. So once again, mm -hmm. fluency is important. Accuracy is important. It depends where you are. If you're in an office and you're writing reports, definitely you have to be accurate. Yes. So tomorrow when we start, we're going to finish this topic here because you need to have a very clear idea of where you want to be. Do you want to be fluent or do you want to be accurate or do you want to be both, right? Both. Okay. Right. So be both, both. has to be the ideal answer. So we're going to stop right here. Thanks again for making the time, the space. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. 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 Good night.